Drinking versus eating your calories. Now you guys have seen Neri's results and she looks amazing. And she always would say that she would rather eat her food than drink her food. But you've also seen my results and personally, I'd rather drink my food than eat my food. And so in today's video, I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of drinking versus eating your calories. Now when it comes to drinking your calories, the pros are it's super convenient. For me personally, like I'm shooting these videos, I barely have time to sit down, use a microwave, you know, fork and knife, cut up my food, eat my food. To me, that just sounds like a whole entire process. Instead, I would rather have a double protein shake and some rear waffles. For me, drinking my calories is a super pro because it's super convenient. Number two, whenever you drink your calories, you gotta think about that you're adding hydration to your body. And a lot of us are already lacking fluids. Now, you don't have to drink three liters of water if you're drinking six liters of fluids. Like three liters of water is what you wanna to aim to. Yes, drinking water is probably better than having some type of sweetener in it, but in the end, your body will be hydrated, it'll have fluids in it, so if you're drinking your calories, you're actually adding towards your fluid totals. And when it comes to drinking my calories versus eating my calories, if I were to eat the food, and especially if I didn't prepare the food, I find it very hard to track that, right? Even if it's a chicken breast, unless you actually cooked that chicken breast and you grilled it without oils or butter or whatever and no added seasoning, flavoring, et cetera, et cetera, you don't really know what's in those calories. Where it is a protein shake, if you literally scooped it out of the container and you mixed it with water, you know water has zero calories, all I have to do is scan that protein bottle and know exactly how many calories and what the macros are so when I'm drinking my calories, it's easier to track. Now when it comes to the cons, we all feel like we're not full. So if I have a protein shake or equivalent to a chicken breast, well, the protein shake definitely doesn't make me feel full. The protein shake is faster digesting, which means that it's gonna keep you feeling fuller less longer, whereas when you eat the food, you're gonna feel fuller longer because it has to go through a digestion process. So if you're just drinking, there's a good chance that you have to use willpower not to wanna to eat again. When it comes to the cons, especially if you're going to somewhere like Booster Juice or you go to the grocery store and you pick up a like veggie drink, the cons are there could be added sugars. And we gotta understand that not all drinks are created equal. The other day I was playing tennis with a friend and I was drinking my EAAs. Now EAAs have zero calories. Sure, there's probably sucralose in there and that might be bad for me, but there's zero calories and there's electrolytes in it. And he was drinking Gatorade, not just like the unflavored or the sugar-free Gatorade, but this guy was drinking straight up legit Gatorade. And I'm thinking in my head, one bottle of Gatorade is probably 36 to 48 grams of sugar. It's like 220 calories right there. And I know in a session of playing tennis, he's not burning that off. And as such, if you're just starting off and you don't know much about macros and you're not scanning labels, by drinking your calories and thinking, hey, you know, like this stuff's healthy for me, this Gatorade, because there's a label on it, there's a good chance that there's probably added sugars to make it taste good, and you're adding calories. So that's one of the cons is that there could be hidden sugars in there. And then when you're drinking your calories, you could be breaking up a lot of the fiber, and the fiber isn't going to create that fullness, or it's not gonna provide you all of the nutrients that you're looking for. And when you isolate your food, like doing a protein shake versus having a chicken breast, you're gonna be missing out on other macros. Like we can't just eat protein all day. We need carbohydrates to function. We need it for our brain. We need it for our lifts. We need fats for our hormones. We need fats to keep us full, feeling fuller longer. So if you just isolate and you drink your calories like from a protein shake, there's gonna be fiber and other macros that you could be missing. Now when it comes to eating your food, well the pros are, like we mentioned, is that you're gonna feel fuller longer because if you were to take a full chicken breast or a liquidized chicken breast, then what ends up happening is your body has to digest this food so it stays in your stomach a little bit longer, which is then gonna keep you satisfied so you're not looking for that next calorie. When you chew or you eat your food versus drinking it, if you've ever had a drink on you, how fast can you drink that thing if it's super tasty? It's gone. But if you gotta sit down and cut up your steak and chew your steak and eat your steak, that takes a lot longer. So the chewing and the eating actually stimulates almost a pleasure hormone to your brain which makes you feel satisfied. 
And like I said, with the chicken breast, yes, there's a lot of protein in there, but there's other nutrients in there that your body would need. Whereas when you isolate something like a protein shake, you could be lacking certain nutrients. Now the cons, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, is that a lot of us don't have time to prep. So the ones that are, have little time but are able to do it usually batch prep, but someone like me, I hardly ever meal prep. And so I don't have a lot of time to cook up a bunch of chicken breast with rice and vegetables, et cetera, et cetera. So I would prefer to drink it. But some people that do have the time to prep, I would say they're better off and they're gonna feel fuller and more satisfied longer than those that are just drinking it. Now it comes down time to eat. Me personally, I went from the computer desk doing work to dropping the kids off to school, to coaching, and now I'm here shooting this video with you, and right after this, I gotta go play, play tennis, that I was able to get my double protein shake, and I had four Maria waffles today, because I knew I wasn't gonna eat again for the next little while, whereas I would not have the time to sit down and eat 12 ounces of steak with you know, rice and vegetables. It just wouldn't have that time. And in fact, my body wouldn't digest it fast enough for me to move on to my next activity. So a lot of us just don't have that time to eat. And then the last but not least is overeating. When we get into something that's super tasty, when we drink our calories, it's gone. We're more than likely not going to have a second protein shake. But if that steak was super tasty and chewy and we loved it so much, there's a good chance that we're going to overeat the calories that we're eating. So we have to be cautious that when we're eating the food that we might overeat the food. So what's my verdict? Well, number one is that you need to find a way to balance out both. You don't have to always just eat your food and you don't have to always just drink your food. So for me, I usually drink my calories before my first meal, which is in and around that 3 p.m. and then I eat again at around 7 p.m. So for you, if you're more of an eater, then maybe you should start your day with food, but then you can end your day with liquid. And you gotta be able to work with whatever works for you within the time frame allotted. So if you have more time to meal prep and you have more time to actually sit down and enjoy a meal, then that's amazing. But if you don't have a lot of time like me, then you have to just make do with what it is. And then if you're still hungry, but yet you've gotten those calories in you because there's very low density in a liquid form, then you need to have a stronger mindset or fill up with some water. And when it all boils down to any of this, you need to focus on your calories first, then your protein, then your other macros. So it doesn't matter if you're eating or, or drinking your calories, if you're going over your calories, you're going to gain weight. It's that simple, okay? Now, if you need to focus on which should I focus on, should I do carbs, proteins, fats, I'm gonna tell you to focus on your protein. And the last but not least, the best tip I can ever tell you, if you're not tracking your food, if you're, undecided of whether you should drink or eat your calories or create some type of balance, I'm gonna tell you to never stuff and never starve. All right, so what I've done is I put together a one day metabolism boosting plan where it incorporates exercise, your fluids, some detoxing and how much food you should be eating. So if you want access to that, go to the link in the description, click it and I'll send it right over to you.